Praise God and good morning. My name is Molly Nyange. This morning I'm saved and I love the Lord. I thank God for this opportunity to share a word with us today. And today uh, we're going to look at episode 5. We are looking at Matthew chapter 25 from verses 1 to 26. And mostly we're going to look at verses 37. And so uh, our heading today is... Lord, we didn't see you angry. And if you read this chapter of Matthew, chapter 25, from verses 31 to 46, you will realize that this is the time when Jesus was sharing uh, the parables. And this is one of the last parables that Jesus shared with his uh, disciples. And if you read Matthew 25, from verses 31, the Bible says, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glory. The nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the gods. And if you look at this chapter, uh, verses 31, this is where Jesus tries to explain what will happen during the end of times. And Jesus says, there will come a time whereby he will judge the righteous from the evil people. And Jesus gives example or gives a parables of the righteous being the sheep and the unrighteous being the sheep. And as we look at this chapter, we'll find that this passage takes place towards the end of Jesus' earthly ministry and imparts viral lessons to his disciples and the crowd gathering around him. If you read carefully the book of Matthew chapter 25, the disciples were surprised and they were asking Jesus, when did these things happen? They were asking him, when did we see you hungry and not fed you? When did we see you thirsty and not give you water to drink? They were surprised. They couldn't understand what was going on. And the same thing happens to those Jesus calls the sheep. They're also wondering and asking. The sheep and the goat are asking the same question. Sir, when did we see you and not do these things unto you? But the Bible says that Jesus answers them and says, when whatever you did not do for the little people, that whatever I did not do for my people, you did not do it for me. And then the Russians answering Jesus, and they're asking him, when did we see you, Lord, and feed you? Or when did we see you thirsty and give you water? When did we see you a stranger and invited you in our homes? When did we see you needing clothes and we gave you? Then King will reply and answer to them, Truly I tell you, the list of this, the, the list, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. Brothers and sisters, I want us to understand what Jesus is teaching his disciples in these parables. He's telling them that whatever they did, they did unto him. I wonder how many times we have passed by people who are begging by the roadside. And most of the times what we do, we do what is called separation. Just as Jesus sat down and taught his disciples and he was talking about separation, he was talking about punishment and judgment at the end of days. Most of the time as Christians, we do separation in our lives. We separate ourselves according to education level. We separate ourselves according to the living standards. We separate ourselves according to the wealth that we have. Many a times, even those who we live with in our homes, especially those who we call as house managers, we find that most of the times we separate them. The Bible tells us that whatever you do to these little ones, you are doing them unto me. God will ask you, what did you do to me? And you will be surprised, saying that you did not do what you are accused of. But the Bible is telling us that what we need to do as Christians we need to be compassionate. We need to be kind. We need to serve people the least amongst ourselves. And this teaching reminds us as Christians that our faith is not just about beliefs, but also about how we live out our faith in pra practical ways. So my brothers and sisters, during this time of Lent, it is my heart desire that we will learn to serve each and everyone equally. Look at yourself. Look at yourself back from where you began. 
Are you a sheep or a goat? And if you are a goat, during this time of Lent, during this time that we take and pray, let us go before God and pray that God will help us to be the sheep and not the goat. Because just as the Bible says, that separation will happen and judgment will come. And my question is to ask brothers and sisters, when judgment comes, which side will you be? Because Jesus says the sheep will be in his, on his right hand and the goat will be on his left hand. And he will say to the, to the sheep to go to eternal life and to the goats on the left hand side to go to total condemnation or damnation. So my prayer today is that we will learn to take each and every one in equal, with equal measure, that we will learn to do good to each and every one because whenever we do that, we are doing it unto the Lord. So my brothers and sisters, as we take time to humble ourselves and pray, let us ask the Lord to give us that kindness in our hearts, to give us compassion in our hearts, so that we may serve the least amongst us. And with that understanding, let us believe and pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word that is powerful, your word that is sharper than any double-edged sword. How we pray, King of all glory, that your word that has come unto us, we will use it for the glory and honor of your holy name. Lord, we pray that you may teach us to walk in your ways always and to do that which is pleasing before you. We thank you and we bless you. For it is in Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe.